Mga atit mga kuya, welcome back to Kuya Puto's channel. How is everybody out there? As you can see, matanda na si Kuya Puto, magsi 50 na ako. So I had no choice but to get glasses. Dahil di na ako makakita, lalo na pag ganun no, ganun no. So, no choice. I had to give in. Anyways guys, marami po nagtatanong kay Kuya Puto dahil napakahili ko sa kotse. And I made that very clear with uh, the videos that I upload in the in the past, right? Tinatanong po sa akin, dito sa Canada, ano ba mga dinadrive na mga kotse na mga mayayaman? Yun ang topic natin ngayon, guys. So guys, dito sa Canada, maraming mayaman. Lalo na dito sa Brantford, ang daming mayaman, ang daming milyonaryo. Alam niyo kung bakit? Everywhere I go, nakakita ako ang dami nagda-drive BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Range Rover. So lahat sila milyonaryo, di ba? Dahil ang gaganda ng mga dinadrive nilang kotse, ang mamahal. You know, if you look it up on Google, how much is a Mercedes-Benz? How much is a Beamer? How much is an Audi? You know, they're in excess of $60,000, $80,000 or more. So ibig sabihin, di ba, mayayaman sila lahat? Think again. <laughs> Alam niyo po guys, dito sa Canada, lalo na ngayon, just because you drive a nice car does not exactly reflect a person's net worth. Dahil, believe it or not guys, the 40 years that I've been living here, lalo na nung tumanda ako, naintindihan ko, Kung paano mag-isip ang mga mayayaman. They're all about practicality. They're all about dependability. And they're all about reliability. You know, just because you can pick up a second-hand Mercedes or a second-hand Beamer or a second-hand Audi or even maybe afford the payment on a brand new Mercedes, Audi, Beamer, Range Rover, or what have you, all of those high-end luxury vehicles, doesn't really mean that you should. Okay, guys? Dahil marami pa kong kilala. It's form over function. And typically, yung po mga kilala kong form over function, they are the ones that are struggling. They are the ones that can't move forward. They are the ones that, you know, when people look at it from the outside looking in, akala po nila, napakadami nilang pera. Akala po nila that they're so successful because you know, they're sporting and they're flexing all of these high-end luxury items and belongings, right? Pero po kung tutuusin, sila pa po yung naghihirap. Napansin ko po nung tumanda na ako, and nakakilala po ako ng mga successful people. And I was able to understand the way they think. Hindi po ganun eh. Hindi po ganun. Karamihan po ng mga successful people na nakilala ko along the way, they're very practical. Ibig po sabihin, they have the ability to buy Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Range Rover, all of that. But you know what they choose to do? They buy a Toyota. <laughs> they buy a Honda. They buy a Ford. Dito po sa Brantford, marami pong farming communities dito. And yung mga farmers, mayayaman po yan. <laughs> okay? They own large pieces of land that they cultivate for food, for grains, for what have you, for pasture. And very rarely, you would ever see these people driving luxury vehicles you know they want something dependable like a like a big ford truck or like a big toyota suv or a big honda suv nung pong uh, nagtatrabaho ako sa banko yes i did work for one of the big six banks dito sa ontario after i retired from the casino uh Part of my job was to actually look at people's financials. And you would be very, very surprised. 
mga kliyente ko po dati that had high net worth, they are the ones that live very simple. <laughs> and uh, the regular people, uh, clients that I had, they are the ones that usually have uh, a car payment in excess of $800 or more. Isipin niyo yun, guys. Kung sino pa ang hindi makaka-afford, sila pa bumibili. And kung sino ang nakaka-afford, they choose not to commit to buy those luxury brands. So it's not uncommon, guys, when you see somebody driving a, I don't know, like a Honda CRV or a Toyota RAV4 or even a Corolla or a Civic. Do not judge. Do not judge. Dahil nine times out of ten, they probably have a higher net worth than somebody who's driving a Beamer or a Mercedes Benz or something high end. Mind you guys, you know, obviously there's always going to be an exception to the rule. But I'm people mayaman jan, mahilik talaga sila sa coaches, so you know, they indulge because why not? They deserve it. They work hard, so they should be able to reap the benefits of their efforts, diba? So every now and then you'll see a Lamborghini. Why not? If they can afford it. And if they're car people, why not? You deserve it, diba? But for the most part, believe me when I say this. Typically, people with higher net worth, they tend to be more on the reliable side, on the dependability side, on the practical side. So, isipin nyo guys, you know how hard it is to own a BMW, a Mercedes, or an Audi? Isipin nyo guys, number one, the payment, okay? Number two, the insurance. Number three, the maintenance is a pain in the behind. Maniwala kayo sa akin. You don't want to be paying shop rates to fix a Beamer. You don't want to do the same for a Mercedes or an Audi or any other luxury vehicle name brand out there. You know? Lalo na kung dadali nyo sa kasa, napakasakit ng, ng bulsa. Sasakit ng bulsa ninyo talaga. <laughs> Yung mga mayayaman po, they don't want that. They want convenience. They want practicality. They want dependability. They want reliability. And it's been proven time and time and time again. These luxury brands, they're money pits. And the wealthy, they totally understand this. And even if they did indulge, okay, say, you know, somebody with a high net worth ends up buying a, a luxury car or you know, a supercar or what have you, they don't pay cash. They don't finance it. They never do. That's the part that most people don't understand. You know, the wealthy, when they acquire vehicles that's got a high price tag, 99.9999% of the time, they are leased against a business. That way they can write it off. Yes, guys, they write it off versus somebody who just wants to go flex a Benz or a Beamer. You know, they would sign the contract and commit to making finance payments towards it. I have many friends that work at dealerships, okay? And they tell me the same exact thing over and over and over and over again. 99.999% of the time, Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Range Rover, all of those high-end vehicles, the reason why they are able to sell them brand new is to people and businesses because they lease them out. Very rare somebody walks in and finances vehicles like that because of the price tag and all the costs associated with it. So let's go back to the topic. What are the Mayaman people driving here in Canada for the majority? Regular cars. Regular, dependable, proven solid vehicles. Toyota, Honda, Subaru. 
even Ford. Okay, guys, totoo po yan. Because they don't need to flex. They don't. Because they've been there. They have what it takes. Whatever they want, they can get like that because of their high net worth. They don't need to impress anybody with cars. You know, nung pong bata ako, tatandaan ko, kami ni Mises, this is when my mind started to shift. Nasa gas station po kami. Tapos, uh, there was a red Dodge Viper that was uh, pumping gas next to us. Tinitignan ko, I'm like, oh my God, ang ganda-gandang kotse nun. I wish one day I can have a car like that. Sabi ni Mises, I'll tell you a secret. I know that guy. What if I told you that he lives in that car? <laughs> Do you want that kind of life? Doon po nag-switch mindset ko. Never ever judge a book by its cover. Okay? Because yung pang mukhang wala, yung pang madaming meron. Most of the time. So, sana naman guys, natuwa kayo or at least, ganun kayo natutunan ng konti. This is a video na to. This is Kuya Puto Mendoza in Canada wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble. Keep your hustle strong. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.